But if any of my old math teachers are watching this, I didn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, I already graduated. Pussy nigga, you must be blind. This shit is a bitch. Believe it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shay, and I'm back today with another video. With another video. And as y'all can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school survival guide tips edition. So, I literally just came up with that title. <laughs> that is going to be the title of the video. Okay, y'all. So, basically, in this video, I am going to give y'all a few tips. Off the top of my head that I have for y'all for back to school. Now, if you know me, then you already know I'm done with school. If you don't know me, then you don't know why I'm done with school, which you should go ahead and subscribe to me now. That way you will know what's going on from here on forward. So I'll just give you like five seconds to go ahead and subscribe. Y'all saw that? They ain't even subscribed. That's that's some fake. That's some fake ish. We gonna continue. Anyways, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some tips to survive the school year that I use to survive my school years. And we just gonna get into this video. Tips with Shay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, y'all. So the first tip I'm gonna give y'all is number one. If you watched my school supply video, which if you didn't, I'll link it below because what are you doing? But yes, if you watch my first video, when I showed y'all the calculator, I do not have it and do not feel like going to get it. Mm. If you saw the calculator, you saw that the calculator came with a cover. Most calculators that you purchase comes with a calculator cover. Inside the calculator cover, it's like a sticker. The sticker normally has some type of formulas or equations, you know, something related to math that helps with the calculator. Now, teachers normally know that because they were once students, so they don't pay attention to the paper in the calculator. So, whenever you're taking a test or a quiz, or something you're doing and you know you just aren't going to get all the way to the finish line. I'm not saying I'm advising y'all to cheat, but if you did cheat, I would say get you a white sheet of copy paper, which is just like blank and shape it to the exact same size of that sticker in the calculator Put it in the calculator that way when it's time to take the test or whatever, and they say clear your desk, only thing you have on your desk is that calculator. They're not gonna question it. Make sure the cover is covering the calculator. That way they don't see it until they, you know, they don't see it at all. You wanna make sure you're covering it. Then when they go sit back down or whatever, and they're walking around and stuff, you just look like you're at your desk with your calculator. So even if they get close to you and you put the lid under the calculator, they're not going to question it because all you have is a calculator. How do I know this? Because I passed all my math tests with flying colors. But if any of my old math teachers are watching this, I didn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, I already graduated. Next. Okay, tip number two. Now, this is for my viewers that have more than one class. Okay, so if you were anything like me, I hated having to carry notebooks or pens and pencils and stuff in the hallways. I hated it. Like, I felt like when I walked in the hallways, the only thing I needed was my phone. I don't know. I, I just, I don't like carrying stuff, period. So, if you have more than one class and you have teachers that, like, Either one, don't monitor what they have in their classroom, or two, just don't care about you doing it. What I advise is you go there early or later the day before 
and you put your notebook or your binder book whatever somewhere in the classroom like probably not under the desk that way nobody steals it but put it in like a bookshelf or somewhere out of the way or if your teacher don't care then tell them just put it under their desk like some teachers will hold your folder and stuff for you until you come back the next day or whatever keep it in that class that way you don't have to carry it from class to class or you don't have to go back to your locker and get it like stuff like that it'll already be there in the class or if you know you don't really keep up with pens and pencils keep a pen or two or pencil or two like in a bookshelf or somewhere in the classroom you'll remember that way when you get to the class and you realize you don't have a pen or you don't have a pencil you can go to where you keep it and you're prepared so basically just have your stuff in the class like take it there the day before or the morning before or whenever you have time just like drop it off or whatever that way when you go to that class you don't have to carry your stuff but then again i'm lazy so maybe that's just for me i don't know moving on number three okay back to this math thing now if you're like me you're bad in math i am bad at math hi my name is shay i am bad at math if you're bad at math, I would suggest you downloading Math Pop-Up. You guys probably can't see it. <sighs> math Pop-Up. It is an um, app you can download out of the App Store. But basically, you can put in the math problem like that. And it will do the math for you and show you step by step how I got it. Because, you know, some teachers like to see how you got the answer. So if you put it in on Math Papa, it will show you step by step how it got the answer. So it doesn't matter if it's like a fraction, equation, it has letters in it, whatever. If it's a graph, it does graphs like y'all. This app, it, it, it does it all, it does it all. I would advise you get Math Papa, it helps. And if you don't trust it, get someone you know that's good in math give them the same problem. If they get the same answer, you get the same answer, then you know it's right. But yeah, I advise Math Papa because it's, it, it really does help y'all like. Another one you can get is Photo Map. And Photo Map, you can take a picture of the problem, the equation, whatever, and it will solve it out. And it also shows you step by step how you did it so it's basically like math papa i had both of them just in case i couldn't get the answer on one or if i wanted to check the answer this app right here is really good too so photo math that's a very good app as well and a third one for number three would be mathway yes i have more than one app that does math what part of i'm not good in math did you not hear but i would suggest mathway same thing, you can um, take a picture of it and it shows you step by step. And then it shows you the different levels, people, like basic math, pre-algebra, algebra, trigonometry, pre-calculus, calculus, statistics, like. I even used this in college because, whew, child. Math don't get no easier. It just get dumb. But yeah. Those three are for number three, how to survive math. Number four. Number four is for, once again, my older students who have to write papers. Hold on, because this is really bothering me. Okay, so for the students who have to write papers, if you don't have Microsoft or you aren't able to purchase Microsoft and stuff like that, you don't know anyone who has Microsoft. If you have a Microsoft account and you go onto the website, or you type in Microsoft Online, Word Online and stuff like that, PowerPoint Online, stuff like that on Google, you can go onto the website and you can use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, um, stuff like that all for free under your account. And you can save it to your computer and you can like type your papers, your essays, do your PowerPoint presentations, like your um, graphs or whatever, and you can save it to your computer just as if you would if you had it downloaded onto your computer and you get all your work done. Plus, wow, look at the light. 
Baby girl, you so... I'm trying to run away from the sun. Okay. But yeah, you can use Microsoft Online as the same features as you can get as if you was to purchase a subscription and you can get your work done. So if you're a broke college student or high school student and you still need to get your work done, go online, it works the same. Okay, y'all, sorry for the bad lighting. Like the sun is setting right now, so everything looks a little crazy. Okay, but number five. Now this is for college student, high school students, middle school students, elementary school, however, whatever you're in. Now, I was recently informed some people do not know the finger trick for the nine multiples. So like the multiples of nine. And it's basically a cheat sheet on your hands that show you different ways of how to get the answer for like the multiples of nine. Okay, and then nine times two. 18. So if you notice, or should I do like this? Okay, I'll do it like this. So nine times two is 18. So I have one finger here and eight fingers over here. So nine times two, 18. Nine times three, 27. Again, two fingers here and then seven fingers over here, 27. Okay, nine times four is 36. Three fingers, six fingers. All right, nine times five is 45. Four fingers, five fingers. Nine times six, 54. Five fingers, four fingers. Nine times seven, 63. Six fingers, three fingers. And nine times eight, 72. Seven fingers, two fingers. And nine times nine is 81. Eight fingers, one finger. And nine times 10, 90. Nine fingers, no fingers. You get what I'm saying? So that is my top five tips for back to school, the survival guide, which hey y'all, like let me know what you think. Let me know if y'all want more tips because y'all know your girl. I got all the good tips, y'all. I'ma tell you the tips and y'all probably shouldn't know, like the tips and tricks y'all should know. But hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. And like, a lot of the stuff got me through school. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Turn your post notifications on so you're updated and notified when I upload, you guys. And other than that, you guys, make sure you, oh, and make sure you check down in the description. All right, you guys, and make sure you look down in the description box and follow me all on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all the good stuff. I'm there if you're there. Hey, 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 meet me there. But other than that, you guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching with this crazy sun. Other than that, you guys, your girl, your girl, who else is your girl but me? Your girl, Shay is out. Bye, y'all. Little bit no, I bleed this shit from the beat to the flow. From kicking in doors to dealing with hoes. From trapping out the bed to hanging with the bros to pouring up folks. And y'all ain't know I so do so cold. In the lie, cut these niggas to me as a joke. She just a little kid, she ain't saying shit we ain't already know. Talking about making it, but she just faking it. Talk about money, bitch, no, I be making this spin shit. Yeah, I be creating the world, I'm facing this story, I'm telling it. Hoes can't relate to the truth, you escaping it, but I'm remaking my heart, I be taking it, but I'm replacing the gas, I be smoking the blunts, I be rolling the clips out the gun, but you know I'm reloading.